evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Patrice Dayton. Since the beginning of the pandemic, we have been waiting for a vaccine. Now across the country, frontline workers are getting the first doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. News 10 Sarah Lehman caught up with Vigo County Health Commissioner Dr. Darren Brucken today. He was one of the first in the county to get the vaccine. She has more from him about what you should know. Exhausted and overwhelmed. Just two ways to describe how frontline healthcare workers are feeling across the country. But now they're seeing a small glimmer of hope. The COVID-19 vaccine has made its way into the Wabash Valley. And our frontline healthcare workers are lining up to get vaccinated. All of us that have taken the vaccine and that are excited, just ecstatic about the vaccine being here. We know that this is the beginning. This is this is how we get through this. Dr. Darren Brucken was one of the first health care workers to get the vaccine in Vigo County. Not only is he a doctor at Regional Hospital, he's also the Vigo County Health Commissioner. He says this is an exciting time and everyone may be breathing a sigh of relief and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. But he says we still have a long way to go. There's so much work left to be done, of course. Yesterday was a great day for us. From a, from a health care provider standpoint, it was a great day. It was a monumental day for us. We're like, yes, finally we have something that's going to have a positive impact. Um, but that's balanced against the negativity um, as well because we're still, you know, we're still burying people right now. Dr. Brucken says it's important for everyone to get the vaccine. He says it will be the only way we can get herd immunity and bring an end to this pandemic. The risk of uh, side effects from vaccine versus the risk of contracting you know, COVID-19 and, and ultimately dying from it because uh, we, we see that. We see that every single day. So if people want to return to normal, which all of us do, we got to get vaccinated. Dr. Brucken asks you to continue to mitigate while the vaccination process happens. That means keep wearing your face mask, social distancing and washing your hands while the vaccination process unfolds over the next several months. He says this will help bring an end to the pandemic. Back to you. Well, with the vaccine also comes a need for more pharmacy workers. CVS Pharmacy says they're looking to hire 15,000 pharmacy technicians across the country. This includes 700 here in Indiana alone. Those who